So the first thing we start with is electric force and field, which we start out with uh, this equation. Or let's, we could put D here. So this is the equation for the expression of the force between two charges. F equals K Q1 Q2 over D squared, and then R hat means that the force is radially outward between them. This is the, one of the most fundamental equations of nature. Uh, in, uh, in nature, there's, uh, uh, nature has four fundamental forces, right? We have the gravitational force, electrical force, okay, electromagnetic force we call it, and there's the strong nuclear force, and then weak nuclear force, right? So the gravitational force behaves very similarly to the electromagnetic force. When you take physics 2, I know some of you are taking two, physics 2 with physics uh, 3. So I don't know if you want to commit suicide, but uh, <laughs> OK. So um, you will, that's the first thing that you will really learn in physics 2. F equals g m1 m2 over d squared. So notice the behavior of the two equations is similar. The gravitational force between two objects is proportional to the mass, the product of the two masses the distance between them squared, and some constant called the universal constant of gravity. Well, the uh, electrical force between two objects is proportional to the product of the charges divided by the distance squared times the some constant, the electrical constant, OK? Uh, the units of the G, G is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11. So it's a small number. And the units of it would be Newton times meter squared divided by uh, kilogram squared. In order for the units to work out, that's what the units need to be. The Newton, because this whole thing needs to produce a Newton, and then times meter squared divided by kilogram squared so that uh, this kilogram squared would cancel with that kilogram squared divided by meter squared, and then the answer will come out Newton. The K, the electrical constant, is 9 times 10 to the ninth. So it's a big number in comparison to the, uh, the G. And its units are going to be Newton times meter squared divided by Coulomb squared. The Coulomb is the metric unit of charge for uh, the charge of an object. Coulomb and uh, is uh, Is, a one, is the unit of charge. The charge of one electron is equal to the charge of one proton. One electron has a charge of negative 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. And the one proton has a charge of plus 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So electron and the proton are oppositely charged. And that's what their charge is. So in terms of a Coulomb, you can see that the Coulomb is a big unit. It takes a lot of electrons to give you the charge of one Coulomb. You know? And it would take a lot of protons to give you the charge of one Coulomb. So the Coulomb is a large unit. So from here, we see that the behavior of the electrical force is similar to the behavior of the gravitational force. If the distance between two objects doubles, the electrical force becomes one fourth. If the distance uh, goes to three times as much, the electrical force goes one-ninth as much. So this thing, this kind of square relationship occurs a lot in nature, one over square relationship. Um, OK, let me.